Hey guys, this is Witty, or should I say, Keku? And um, yeah, we're about to get into a 4 versus 4. Not just yet, whenever it turns up, it turns up. But the reason why I'm bringing up this video right here is a little uh, prequel, or is it uh, just to give you a little bit of information on the current status of my 4 versus 4 RT going ons? At the moment, I am 18713 points into level 42 as well basically total experience points of 18713 you can look at it that way and uh, yeah that's what I got and the person who is rank 1 who I had the fortune yeah that's bad math Mr. Aerial Rave because I'm about to prove you wrong but I like your efforts his Sequoia train I'm sure that's how he says it and he's 8 points, eight experience points ahead of me at the moment. And I just fought him, so he's actively online at the moment, I just battled him in my last game. And we won that game, so that was handy because he lost experience and I gained, which then bridged the gap ever closer between the two of us. So if I win my next game, I could get rank one, but then if he wins his next game and he says, for example, gets a game straight after me, and then wins his game, he'd get rank 1. We could be going on and on forever, but potentially this could be the game that leads me to rank 1. And then I might lose it straight afterwards. But I would still technically get rank 1. And obviously I'll probably try to keep rank 1 for a while. For more than like a few minutes if I can, that'd be nice. But um, yeah, just showing you the situation. So he's currently rank 1. And I'll see if he's in a game at the moment. Ooh, he is. Ooh, he's got a game before I have. All right, well, I better start then, better than I. Yes, well, who knows when my next game will be found, but um, I'll come back to you when it has been found, and I'll obviously have to keep an eye on things, because it's a bit awkward at the moment, because I could win this game, because I'm going to commentate the games from now on, and the awkward thing, the most awkward thing, is that I would actually lose the games, and then I'll be even further back. So this is the hardest thing about trying to commentate the games that are going to lead me to rank 1, is I might not necessarily win them. And if I lose them, then I might need one or maybe even more than one game, maybe two, maybe three, and however many games it takes before I get back to possibly rank 1. And I say back, I haven't been there yet. Got to get there. So, um, yeah, it doesn't help that he's currently in a game. Technically, if he lost that game, I would be rank 1. But I kind of want to earn it. Well, I have earned it from all the playing, but I'd like to be overcome him rather than have it given to me if you see what I mean but at the same time even if that was the case I would just keep playing and I would just get ahead I want to get onto level 43 maybe level 44 perhaps level 45 I don't think I would go any further than level 45 it always depends on how <laughs> how many games I can find and how frequently well I can do but uh yeah I'm gonna let this search and whatever happens happens Alright, so I haven't found a game yet, but I have been keeping track on things, and uh, yeah, here we go. Rank 1! Wound! Good game, didn't even try. Whew, I tried very hard, but to get rank 1 just in this moment, I did not try at all, because I did not find a game. I was watching a BBC Horizon documentary, and I thought, I better have a quick check and see how um, Sequoia Train is doing in his uh, game. And the only way I can do that is simply just to do who is, slash who is. And he came out of the game, I profiled him, well actually I just profiled him, and uh, that showed me that he had lost a little bit more experience, so now he's at 18687. So if he won his next game before I find a game, then he'd get rank 1. But at the moment, I am technically rank 1. But like I said earlier, regardless of what happens, I'm going to carry on playing. I kind of want to get 43. Now, this is like almost being in some sort of weird limbo because I see rank 1. I am technically rank 1, but I didn't play a game to get rank 1 unless I counted the game that I played against Sokol before and beat him. I could technically convince myself that that was the game that led me to rank 1, but even then I still technically rank 2 after that, so that's annoying. That should have been the game that I should have got. Beat him and then get rank 1. That would have been perfect. Passing the baton, you know. But, I don't know, there's something that doesn't feel right about this. So, I'm going to play 
Well, I'll try to get one more game today, and then I'm going to continue playing tomorrow, or whenever it is, and hopefully get my way up to level 43, so that I've got a clear lead ahead of the other people. That's providing things go well for me. I could just go on one of those beautiful lost sprees that I love so much. But um, hopefully, uh, yeah, I do well, and uh, I'll I'll feel like I've earned rank one a bit more if I can hit level 43, or at least get more than you know 10 experience points ahead of the person behind me. You know, I know I'm technically more than 10 points. You don't have to be super sort of like into it, don't worry about that too much. You get the point. I'm sure a lot of you understand where I'm coming from here. So I thought I'd put this bit in and whenever I find a game, hopefully I find a game before I decided to stop playing for the rest of the night, um, I can uh, cover that game and we can have some fun with that because I'm technically rank one so I can enjoy it a lot more because I've actually hit this point now where I'm rank one. So I still, this still counts, this still feels genuine, but I really want to go that mile further and really get ahead of everyone and be like, yes, I am definitely ahead. I beat you. I beat you all. Take that. And to get level 45, that'd be nice. I think getting level 45 would pretty much prove my point. If I could be like <laughs> two, one or two levels above everyone else, that'd be pretty nice. But um, yeah, we'll come back to me in a moment. If you see a video straight after this one, then you can assume that I found a game. However, for me, it's a mystery. Because I don't know whether I'm going to find a game or not. Because I still have to keep trying to search. Okie doke. Let's have a look. That's the button I press. There's the standard game search. Average time! Five minutes! More like five hours! That's what that stands for, and I ain't joking. Right, okay. It doesn't honestly always take five hours, but it has taken that long before, and, you know, fairly frequently. So, enough so that I can mock it for being five hours search time, okay? Well, there you go. Well, there it is, rather, should I say. Uh, I'll stop it now, and hopefully I can come back to you with an actual game footage. Game footage. What a way to finish. Anyway some actual game footage and we can we can enjoy it <laughs> we i almost said we can both enjoy it as in to assume there's just one other person watching this so a slight dig on myself there <laughs> it's like you and me yeah just that one guy that supports me go witty yeah my number one fan i'm in it alone apart from one person just cheering me on all right I will stop this now because I like to ramble, but uh, yeah, thank you very much, and I will see you soon, hopefully. Gagoo! Okay, hello! Oh dear. I just got ready to relax there because it was taking me 40 minutes, over 40 minutes to find a game, and I got myself a flannel. I, I sort of, you know, relaxed and uh, just laid there a little bit with the flannel on my face, and then suddenly it finds a game. I've got to put my top back on, got to turn the lights on, got to close the window, got to shut the door, got to throw the flannel away, and oh my goodness, I've got to find some sort of way to do a build order. Ow, here we go, let's just do that. Let's do that. And I'll probably go rifles since I've taken so long because obviously I have to get the recording set up, I have to get the webcam going, then I have to get myself all changed, then start recording on this, otherwise it would look a bit weird. So um, yeah, let's have a little look. I would like to always get the screen, but we've got the Kubas on the enemy team, love the pump. Uh, God knows what that is, and rock and roll, it's a bit of a strange game. But nonetheless, I'm still going to play it, and I'm aiming to go Archmage. And oh, I'm so late with everything. Seriously, I really want to probably invest in a tower soon because I'm I'm getting to that point where I could have a blade master come in my base within the next sort of like 30 seconds or so. 30 seconds maybe. Mm -mm. All right, okay, let's get this. Let's get that. Try and make it an awkward base. So they attack, they have to come here. We can. My allies got lots of space. I'm I'm very considerate like that. And we're gonna put. Arcane Tower there, so it's like kind of there, but isn't there. Tempting to go Mountain King first, but Archmage is definitely a safe bet. Spam Dem Water Elementals. Wind game. That's the plan. 
Obviously, I want to try and win because if I lose this, then I could technically go back to rank two. So that would be kind of embarrassing, but it could happen. You never know; anything could happen. Oh, oh, we're getting to that time. The heroes are coming out. Literally, they'll pop out now if someone's done it perfectly. So that arcane tower needs to go. In fact, I'm going to start sending off a scout so I can get any extra information that I require. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Yes, screwed. Yes, All right, done. we've got undead, we've got undead, and we've got humans. So no orc and no night elf. I'd like an orc. I'm not too worried about the night elf, but uh, you know, it's good to have a mix. Oh, it's the grunt and rock and roll. And he's by himself. So the blade master's coming after me, is he, or something? I don't know. Blade master's there. Oh my goodness. Let's try and get some pop shots off on the Blade Master. Try and get a tech going. Because my peasant is going to last forever. No, I'm okay for the moment. Alrighty. Should be relatively safe. Till's taken my spot. I should really go help him because he hasn't even got that much to kill that, to be quite frank with you. So I don't know what he's smoking, to be honest. He's really. I thought. Okay, fair enough. Jesus, we're going to lose this game. <laughs> He'd fucking die if I just didn't turn up now. What the hell is he doing? Oh well. Back to rank two, I go. Jesus, what is this guy doing? Is this your first game? I thought he brought militia or something with him. That's cheeky, but at least it gives me an opportunity to get up in this. I should really take that item. Even though it kind of feels like it's more justified for him, but... It's like... I'll take the boots to speed and let him have the other one. Make him think that he's got something. Let's try and do this. And I'll bring all of my militia. Just in case we get screwed over. Okay. Teal, come! If you look at the minimap, where's Teal going? Oh, he's going the opposite way. Brilliant. Dem allies. I need a hill! I can't play without a hill! Oh, well, fuck this. Blade Master's seen it, so... That's gone. Come on, Blade Master. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. This is a bad game already, I can tell. It just doesn't feel right. Fuck it. Till's abandoned me. He's Now he's coming, but I don't know. We definitely need to do this, and we need to do it. Hit it hard. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of pointless. Alright, Militia, let's go. Till. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Just waiting on that Blade Master to screw me over. Let's get in on that. Try and bring down that warlord. So many militia. Sorry, mate, but I've got to pick that up because of the Blade Master getting ready to pick it up. Because that's what they all do. Oh, this could be a brilliant bolt. Teal's redeemed himself. He has redeemed himself as the best player in the game currently at the moment. Let's put some pressure on. Force a TP. Do what damage we can and then back off. finish that off. So this is good for us. Just want to run. Please don't run back just because that footman. Just straight up run. Oh my. Wish I had a level 3 Archmage. We just need to get back now. Just chill out a bit here. Maybe I can bring out some militia into the fight. Uh oh, Teal's going somewhere. Where is he going? He's abandoning me because they're probably going to want to come and attack me in a moment. I feel vulnerable. So I'm going to put a farm out there. I'm going to start creeping my bit down here. Although Teal's up there, so he... he oh, here we go. Yep, they do come to me. Oh, wow, look at that. I can predict the game. What do you know? Freaking brilliant. 
my allies saying that their stall doesn't fill me, inspire me with hope. I want to try and sneak up and any damage we can do to heal Pink, hopefully without him noticing, he's going to win walk in a moment. Yes he is, if I could just have another dust of appearance that'd be great, see if I can remember him. Uh, never mind, I'll just use it and get a free grump, that would be nice. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Let's pull back. Because even if Pink does want to cheat and get this, he's still going to have to fight. And possibly get owned by the Mountain King. Oh, where do you think you're going? Come back. You gotta just storm bolt that bugger. Ooh, don't want the blade master getting that one. Oh my god, he is there! What attacking! Right, that is. Unless he's got sentry water or something, that's fucking impressive. What the fuck? If only I had another storm bolt, but basically, any time I get an opportunity to hurt that blade master, I'm gonna do it. They're not strong enough to fight us. At least it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, yeah, build more farms. Get on with it. Crack on. See you later. Oh, that could be a dead Archmage! <laughs> Why? He's not very Archmage looking. He's a Keeper of the Grove. And he goes, well, there it is. Ow, well, there it is. Look at me. I'm a Keeper of the Grove. Blade Master Focus. Let's have some of that. How many more windwalks has that bastard got? I hope they're not losing at the top because we're basically winning this now. As long as they can handle themselves at the top, we're okay. We pretty much can take home the win. Teal's got no units. What the hell happened to all the Teal's units? Yeah, we can back off now. I really want to get Dust of Appearance. Oh, I actually want to creep this spot because they haven't done this yet. And we're kind of powerful enough that if they do try to come and stop us, we can just mow over. Because I want to get a few items. Such as that. I really want to get the dust of appearance as well. But he got it. Need to back off now. Pushing our luck. Definitely pushing our luck. Heal up. Good to go. Get going, move, get out my way. I'll have to buy two TPs then if he wants a hand. Could buy two TPs, deal with that, and then TP back to my own base, which is probably what I'm going to do in a moment. Try and get a few free kills because they're going to screw me over for doing this TP basically. I'm not going to get away with this for free. Seal the deal. Thank you very much. I try not to use a storm bolt on that. Let's get to fight. Our horses are under attack. 
Nice! Teal's getting in on that action. Dead Shadow Hunter, dead shaman. Me likes some of that. Had that guy in my group for ages now. I hope he doesn't need to heal. They're in trouble again at top. Kind of okay because purple's over there, so I understand the situation. Gosh darn it, I just don't understand the situation. Gonna have to buy some love. Well He's okay for the moment. If I can force another TP, that'll be great. You require my assistance. Come on our way. Give me something to do. Try and get a blade master. If he gets a storm bar off, I'll keep on him. No. Back. Careful. Keep attention on what's going on, because if more than one TP's in, we're screwed. Need to back off. Ah, he's lost a griffin. I knew he'd do something like that. Could sort of see that sort of thing happening. I'm gonna turn around and go hard on those fiends. Try and get some free kills. Down you go. Unfortunately, I'll just get a TP back because it's going to get messy otherwise. They should be winning this now. Come on, I can't really do any more. I'd be pretty devastated if I lost this game. Shades on you. He's even got an expansion, the cheeky sod. Wonder how you found out about that, mate. Careful, careful, Till, careful, Till, don't lose the game. Careful, mate, careful. Oh my god, careful. Get back, get the hell back. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's help him out. Mountain King, come on. Where are you, bro? This does give us a few free kills on their units, at least, because they're dedicated to killing this expansion. So hopefully that'll work out for us. Oh, the coil of truth! Finds its way towards the keep of the grove. Such a beautiful thing. Let's go finish this now. And he even got to keep his expansion. And Mount King should be back in a moment. I can't really give you any more than that, to be honest. Ooh, hello. Let's get some more fiends. Stormbolt the Death Knight so he can't run away. Ah, oh, you bugger. Okay, we'll take that. Give me that fiend. Do it. There we go. Thank you very much. Get any free kills that we can possibly leech out of this. We've got such a powerful army now, basically. We shouldn't lose this unless this attack against their base goes horribly, horribly wrong. And they just get, like, the perfect defense and all of that. But generally, they shouldn't come out well. And I've got lots of mortars to help apply the correct pressure. Well, 
I don't care. Screw those trolls, I'm not even going to look at them. Got to be careful. Where's he going to TP? There we go. Be ready for yellow because he's going to want to get my morts. Oh, there's some dryads. Teal's going back. Maybe we have to move back in a second. I think we definitely need to move back simply because other people have moved back. We haven't got our full army with us, even though we are quite strong. Damn it, I thought I gave that to the Mountain King, for God's sake. It's very frustrating. Why must this game keep going? It should be over by now. It's only because we have to attack that they keep getting these kind of... Well, actually, I say that. We've had blue at the top the whole time, pretty much ripping the hell out of Kubus. So that still goes for something, but they're going to come after me. More work? Yes, my lord. Righto. Get on them trolls! I'm pretty sure I gave the potion of invulnerability to my bud, but obviously he didn't get it. Something went wrong. Let's see where they are at the moment. They're kind of recuperating themselves by the looks of it. You could actually do with a heal, couldn't you? I'm going to put that what? down, screw it. I'd like to have that, but you could really do have a heal, so let's get you a heal. Well, I'm going to start rolling out the tanks soon. Hello. Mountain King, relatively soon. Let's just... Get an idea on what's going on. Nothing there. That's fine. Blue's going to force a TP. I have the morts and that to toy with them. We get to that point where I can start spending my resources as well. We don't have any casters, so I might start bringing those into the fray. Wood is just so bad on this map. I agree with you. Tanks, start pumping those babies out now. I don't think he can see me yet unless he's got Frasian, but let's just go. Should be able to take that out if they don't react quick enough. I've got enough Morse that if one of them... No, they're not even going to be able to TP in time. That's it. GG. They're coming from behind, I can see that. But that's alright, the damage is done now, so I've got to get my Morts there. Shit, I didn't buy a TP. Oh, classic witty. Classic witty. Fuck me. I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to rum. going to buy a TP. It wouldn't be a game where I didn't actually fucking buy a TP. It's alright. I'm losing a lot. <laughs> I'm losing a hell of a lot. Fuck me. What was I thinking? I forgot the TP. It takes so bloody long to get games, I forget how to f***ing play! God damn you, I bought a TP, there we go. TP is now in his possession. Job done. The game's over anyway, so luckily I can get away with making that fatal mistake, but my god! I mean, I guess that's just playing to, you know, how I always play, is I always get a f***ing TP. God, that's so annoying. When you look, you think you're fine, and then you check back and you're like, I haven't got a TP. But it's not just, oh, I can slip out of this. They're all behind. They're all blocking the way. They are all screwing us over. Oh, dear. I said yes to the TP because it would be very self... I've got to be... I've always tried to do this for my team is... 
you know, I will sacrifice things, including myself. Not voluntarily, though. <laughs> not all the time. When I forget a TP. That's accidental. That's not deliberate. Obviously, there would be, like, no benefit to deliberately forgetting a TP, to be quite frank. But he says TP. I say, yes. TP out of there. I know I'm screwed. If you TP out, I'm even more screwed because I've got even less chance. But the odds are that we couldn't fight versus free, which is what it looked like there was. So for your sake, get yourself out of there. I'll try my best to get out of there, get anything out of there. Even just my Archmage is enough for me to be happy, to be honest, because he was pretty much carrying me for the most part. And the rest of the units were nice, but the Mortars kind of served their purpose because there weren't so many fiends left. It was more about the bears and the giants and the tauren, which the Mortars are okay against. It's always good to have them, but, you know, it wasn't the end of the world losing them. The Mortars took out that tree. They already lost the base at the top, and my allies, the undead, they had their Frostworm thing going on. And, you know, that works out quite nicely, the Frostworms. So, um, yes... I can redeem my bad TP at the end there. Anyway, all I can say is classic witty, really. So, yeah. That's kind of... I'm always glad in a way that I actually had that in this game. So, even if Sokol Train won his game, I will still be rank 1. Yes, I am! There we go. Okay, so... I'm not even sure. I forget to put down... All the right amounts. I think that's it. So 13 wins, 12 losses this level. So pretty even, as you kind of expect it to be. But you kind of... The benefit with Warcraft 3 is sometimes if you play a lot, you will probably do well anyway, which is why you can have high-level people with, like, thousands of games sometimes. And, uh, yeah, you, you'll gradually get, like, for every win... If you won a game and then lost a game, when you even get to this level, you're still probably going to be, like, 5, 10 experience better off... It's very little difference. Very little difference. So you don't really want to play that way anyway. You want to try and win as much as possible. Otherwise it will take you an eternity to get there. So yeah, I feel good now. I'm still going to keep going. But not for the, tonight. I'm done for tonight. Which is why I wanted to get this game done. But uh, I feel like I've done it now. I've got that game. Rather than just have it sort of... Oh, I'm rank 1 now. After sitting in the channel. It's a bit bit lackluster so it's fun to have that game and to do everything I can possibly whilst enjoying it and not concentrating as much as I should be because I'm commentating so uh, <coughs> that's why I forgot the TP that's the sole reason why I forgot it I'm never gonna let that go so um, yeah thank you all I'm gonna just do a little check on my bud Sequel train he was quite mannered actually he spoke to me before, not since I got the win. I can't remember what his name is. I'm going to try a couple of times, and this is hopefully it. But, uh, in a... No, damn it. This is difficult. I'm going to have to find it. I know he's got one Q. There we go. And he's 687, so he hasn't changed. He hasn't probably found a game. He's probably still sitting in his channel. He's got thousands of games. That's thousands of games right there. Jeez. What's he going for? He's playing human at the moment, so he's trying to get 1,500. He's still got a lot of games to go before he gets that. Oh, that's the last he's got to go, though. If he gets uh, the human thing, he's done all the 1,500s, so that's impressive. Well done to him. I wish I stayed on the same account now. I've moved on many, many, many accounts. Gagoo is just one of many accounts. I've got... I had so many accounts and quite a lot of them were high level and I just forgot about them and they kind of got deleted with time which is what happens with Warcraft 3 six months down the line. Oh yeah, I wish I knew what account that was because it had like 400 games on it. Oh well, that's gone now, see you later. So um, yeah, I can't remember all the accounts I've had but it's been good. I still enjoyed it and uh, I move on with the times at the moment. The times are good -goo! and uh, yeah, he's rank one right now so he's the best best of the best the highest of the high in the random team where it counts yeah random team most fun by far so I'm I've completed my purpose that's it I'm finished see you later no more Warcraft 3 <laughs> bye bye no I'm just joking with you I will continue to do Warcraft 3 and I'll probably continue like I say to do some more team games with this account but pretty much gonna just sort of die down with this account now because I've kind of spent enough time sitting in the channel AFK waiting hours for games that are 
going to give me like 30 to 40 experience and you need 500 experience to go up the next level. And I'm not arguing with that. It kind of should be that way to some degree. But when you first start playing, you get like 150 experience per win. Probably more. Then it sort of pits down to about 100 experience. And then when you get to this high, at the moment, I may, may, other people may get slightly more experience if they haven't lost as many games. Because I went on a mass loss spree. But I kind of got it back up. I'm 48 wins above my losses. And I think if you can stay around 40 to 50 wins above your losses, you've done pretty well. Uh... But, um, yeah, it's been a long road, and I'm going to carry on traveling it, but I have officially got my rank 1 now. After that game, after winning that game, I feel like I've officially done it. I'm, I've won that game, I'm now definitely ahead of my opponents, and it feels good. So, thank you all for supporting me. Please continue to support me in the future, because this isn't the end. And uh, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you later. Rank 1, baby. We did it.